Hello and good afternoon. My name is Mohammed. Uh, thank you again for watching um, this video. Um, I'm gonna help you guys explain about the insurance cancellation notification, how this works and everything. Um, so let's get started. So this is how it works. If you're if you're getting a cancellation notice, the Department of Motor Vehicle will send you some type of letter. Uh, for example, if you have a commercial vehicle, they will send you a letter from that part. If you have a regular vehicle, they will send you a part, a letter, such, such as like something similar like this. So you have your identification number over here. Your date of birth should be here. Your plate number and type, expiration date, and order number, obviously, this will have. Now, this is basically a cancellation notice. So there's canceled and cancellation. Cancellation notice is meaning that they will they're giving you such amount of time that they're going to cancel your insurance company. And if you get canceled, uh, it's very hard to get reinstated because they will look that looks bad upon the person. When if it's in cancellation mode, like such as this one, that doesn't mean that you can't drive. They will give you a certain amount of days to fix this issue, or you won't be able to drive anymore. So let's uh, take this as a warning. Uh, so basically, this is what they will say: the Department of Motor Vehicle has been notified. And American Transit Insurance Company, the library coverage on this vehicle registered in your name described below will be canceled on such and such date. An insured vehicle cannot be driven. Basically, they want to know. That's New York State law. An insured vehicle cannot be driven. So you must immediately address the issue to avoid recovery of your registered and plates. You must do one of the following before the cancellation effective date. You may either contact your insurance company or surrender your registration and license plate or register your vehicle as none for hire. So basically this is for TLC or any commercial vehicle. Uh, they want you to have mandatory liability coverage. Um, so basically if you have that, if you don't have it, they will give you a hard time. So basically like every year or two when your registration is expiring or something's expiring they will give you this insurance cancellation notification that all oh, your insurance a lot of people don't know what this is so that's why i'm making this video to explain to you so that doesn't mean that your insurance is canceling either you know you're supposed to pay your insurance uh, you're supposed to renew your uh, your uh, your TLC vehicle license, or you know, or you're supposed to do something something similar towards this. So basically, they're giving you options what to do. Obviously, get you get 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 your insurance back together, or contact the uh, you know your insurance company to see what what it is. So if the vehicle is insured, contact your insurance company. Your insurance company must electronically provide DME with proof of continuous coverage. Contact your insurance company agent or broker who advise them that DME has not received electronic notification insurance coverage so basically your insurance company is supposed to be giving um, you know our information to the DMV sometimes they don't for some reason they forget whatever it is they're supposed to notify them so you could contact your broker agent who you're dealing with or you could contact the insurance company directly and see what they say or if the vehicle is not insured surrender registration and license plate the quick and easiest way to turn in registration and license plate is to mail them Obviously, that's what they want, along with the bottom portion of this letter and the New York State Department of Motor Vehicles 6 and Fire State Plaza, room B240, Albany, New York, 12228. You may also surrender these items in person to any DMV office. You will receive a receipt as proof of surrender of your license plate. So if you're not going to renew your license, you can just surrender your license and your plates. I mean, basically, your, your insurance plates and everything. You just have to surrender that, basically. Um... I will register your vehicle as none for hire. If you do not, if you no longer wish to operate the vehicle as for hire, basically means TLC. That's what for hire vehicle means. If you're picking up passengers, you ha must change registration to a different type. Please go to the DMV office before your insurance coverage is cancelled. Remember what I told you about cancellation and cancelled. You must bring an acceptable New York State insurance ID card with you. The enclosed provided with this letter contains information and ins insurance instruction when proof other than New York State insurance ID card is susceptible. After we have received updated insurance information or your surrender, your registration, license plate, DMV will update the status of your records and inform you of your options available to you. If you require additional assistance providing the matter, please refer to the enclosed card for more information. Obviously. So this is just a uh, section 370 of the New York State Vehicle Law. It's basically the you know that all registered for hire vehicle have liability insurance coverage throughout the registration period. If the vehicle has not op been operated, you must promptly uh, do avoid revocation and registration vehicle. So basically, this is how your registration number will be: insurance company, your cancellation date, plate and type, VIN year, and make uh, you know FH registration, revocation order, or document number. These all the information that should be on the cancellation notice, obviously. Uh, you know, uh, basically that's what they, you know, in a way they're just telling you that either what do you, you still need, do you still need insurance coverage? 
or do you not need it? See, here's how it works with the TLC. Every two, uh, t every TLC, I should say, have a diamond sticker. Basically, every two years, their their car gets inspected by the TLC office. And uh, let's say, for example, by any chance you don't pass inspection because you get three chances at least to pass inspection. Let's say your car doesn't pass. So what do you do? You you have to surrender the plates. That's how it works. You have to surrender the plates because TLC is a for high vehicle process. Um, so every two years, when your uh, your diamond sticker, your car inspection is about to expire, they do send a notice such as this one. And basically, what they're saying is, okay, now it's time for you to get inspected. Your insurance company will, uh, let's say, if your insurance register uh, liability covers expiring in May, and uh, your TLC vehicle is on January let's say if you don't pass by february march you have to surrender because the, the insurance company is going to ask you for for passing the registration sticker and everything if you don't have that obviously they know that you 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 don't have it you didn't pass and they're not going to renew your insurance liability coverage which is going to be a problematic for you so that's the reason why they want you to you know like they give you this letter for hired vehicles they want you to have liability coverage which is mandatory in new york state full coverage is not really mandatory it's an option but i always strongly advise for people to get full coverage especially if they're brand new cars because if you get hit by a vehicle and full and liability your own vehicle that's damaged you won't get covered because liability only covers bodily injury and properly damage uh, but not to your car to a certain extent and not to, to a certain extent they'll cover it but not to a full extent that's if your car got stolen liability coverage is not going to cover that full coverage will so basically that's always recommending to get full coverage uh, again on this video again going off topic just make sure if you get something like this just read through it whatever you decide go through it obviously the quickest way to get your registration liability correction process you don't have to worry about anything else obviously um i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope it was uh, in you know knowledgeable about this um if you have any other questions comment concern please comment subscribe like i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you learned uh, with an informational video for you uh, thanks again for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it thank you